hi good day guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ijoma so in today's video we are going to learn how to sew this simple free booboo gown just make sure you subscribe click the like button and share so I'll be needing about three yards of fabric for this gown so I folded this part into two and I'll cut off the rough part I'll cut off the rough parts. I'll be using from here down to make the gown. So, as you can see, we don't fold. So, the first thing I will do is to measure my length. The length of the gown is 37 inches. But I'll add extra 2 inches seam allowance for folding at the down part and for joining at the shoulder. So it is 37, so I'll go ahead and mark 39. If you are folding your fabric, make sure you fold like extra because you will be cutting your sleeve together. It is a cut together. You will not cut your sleeve separately. So I'll go ahead and measure my shoulder this is how you measure the sleeve for this dress you first of all measure your shoulder my shoulder is 15 so i marked seven and a half i will not add any seam allowance to it then from there i will measure the length of my sleeve the length of my sleeve is 10 so i'll go ahead and add an extra two for seam allowance for folding that will make it 12. If you want, you can make a shoulder slant from here. Maybe one and a half or two. But for me, I don't want to make any shoulder slant. So I'll go ahead and mark down from that point where I measured my sleeve. I'll also draw a line where I marked the length of my gown. So the next thing is to go ahead and measure my waistline. My waistline is 17 inches. My hip line is 28 inches. But if you want, you can mark 27 inches. So I'll mark my armhole. I'll mark my armhole at exactly my bust line. And my bust line is 11 inches because this sleeve will be very very loose the clothes will be a free cloth so i came low it is 11 inches but if you are making a normal sleeve it might be eight or nine inches so i marked 11 inches for ease so i'll go ahead and draw my lines Also go ahead and mark my hip line. So for your sleeve, make sure you mark down your sleeve to the point where you measured your chest line. So I'll go ahead and take my body measurement. Her bust is 43 divided by 4. That is 10.5. 10.75, So I'll go ahead and add extra 3 inches. Anything you get, make sure you add at least 3 inches for ease. So her waistline is 36 inches divided by 4 is 8.5. I'll go ahead and add extra 3 inches for ease. Make sure you add at least 3 inches. You can add up to 4 if you want. So her hip line, I did the same thing and I added extra 3 inches. 
So at the end, I'll mark exactly what I marked on my hip line. If your hip is 40 divided by 4, that is 10. You add extra 3 inches for ease. So I'll go ahead and connect my line. And at the armhole, I'll make sure I curve the armhole. I'll make it look curved. Then from there, I'll connect to the hip. And down to my knee line so the next thing to do is to mark my neckline I'll measure three by three three inches and three inches down so I'll go ahead and connect the lines So, I'll add my slits. There will be a slit at the front part. So, I'll come down by 3 inches. And I'll come in by like half inch at my initial neckline and connect. So, this will be my slit. So, the next thing is to go ahead and cut. I'll cut out my slits and I'll cut out... My actual neckline so I'll go ahead and cut the hand and the other parts so this clothes we have a front pocket I will not notch where my pocket will start make sure your armhole is cold so that it will not look straight, so that it will relax after sewing it. So the next thing I will do is to go ahead and cut out my back part. So this is the front part. I'll place it on the back part. I folded my back part. I'll place it on the back part. The only difference between the front and the back is the neck measurements. The neck depth for the back will be just 1.5 inch. You can make 1 inch, but for me, I'll make 1.5 inch. So, I'll measure 1.5 inch down. And I'll connect. The wideness still remains the same, but the depth is different. So I'll cut out and I'll cut out exactly what I have on the front at the other parts of the back panel. So I'm done. I now have my front and the back. If you're using a bias to fold, you can go ahead and join the front and the back. Then use a bias to sewn out the neckline or to fold the neckline. So this is how it looks like. This is the front. The front pocket will be on this part. So this is the back. If you want, you can go ahead and join already. But for me, I'll be using a facing for this dress. So this is what I will use to cut out my facing. So I'll cut out the back panel first. I'll cut on fold. Remember to cut your facing on fold. So I'll place the back panel on the fabric that we use to cut out my facing. I'll make sure that they are equal at the folded part so i'll go ahead and cut out exactly what i have on my neckline then from there i'll measure like three inches inside and cut then from the dead side i'll measure three inches in and i'll connect the lines so this is what i will use for my facing Three inches or two inches is enough. So for the front part, I will fold. I will use a longer fabric because of the slits, so that it can accommodate the slits. So I will place my front part. 
I'll place my front part on the fabric that I'll be using to cut out my facing. So what I'll do is to make sure that they are equal. I'll cut out the part for the slits and I'll cut out the normal neckline. So I'll go in by 3 inches or 2 inches. Then from the down part, I'll come down by 3 inches or 2 inches and I'll connect the two lines together. So this is for my front facing. So after cutting, this is how it looks like. So I'll go ahead and fold the outside part of the facing, the outer part, or you can overlock it. Then you go ahead and sew down to your fabric. So this one is for the pockets. This is what I'll be using to cut out my pocket. If you want to add a design, you can use another fabric as your design. So I fold. I folded it once and I folded again so that after cutting I'll have two pieces. So for the measurements, I'll measure 10 inches as the depth. I'll measure 10 inches. Then I'll add one inch seam allowance mm -hmm. then for the wideness it is seven inches so i'll add half inch for seam allowance that will make it four divided by two is four So I'll go ahead and cut. So this is what I will use for my pocket. I have two pieces here. So I'll go ahead and use my iron. I'll fold one part. I'll do a bold folding on one part. So that part will be the upper part of the fabric for, for the pocket. That is where you insert your hand from. You leave one side open. So this is the side that will leave open. I'll fold it twice so that I can achieve a neat finishing. I'll iron it down with my iron so that when I will go ahead to sew on my machine I will not find it hard to sew down so I will fold the sides I will fold in by half inch I will fold the sides so that it will be flat for me when I want to sew So this one is ready. I'll go ahead and do the same for the other pockets. I'll fold the upper part twice. This is where I'll insert my hand from or anything that I want to put inside the pocket. This is where I'll do that from. So I'll go ahead and fold the sides. I will use the first one as a guide so that I will know the exact thing to fold. So I will fold this part. I will fold the sides and I will go ahead and iron them down. So this is what my pocket looks like. So, so I'll go I'll ahead and run a stitch through on my on front panel. I will make it to be too close to the center. 
so I'll place it like this the measurement started from the waistline so I placed it exactly on the waistline I placed the upper part exactly on the waistline so I'll go ahead and pin the pin it down so that it will be easy for me to sew when I'm about to sew I'll do this for this side and I'll also repeat the same on the other side so I'll go ahead and sew after pinning this down Just make sure that you have sewn down your facing to the front and to the back then you attach your pocket to the front so after doing this you can go ahead and place two of them together and sew and after sewing your gown is ready